you mentioned a second ago about private lenders. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I, I know why. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know why. But you've got, I mean, you've got like an IRA that you can do stuff out of, or you've got money that you could buy this and flip this if you wanted to. Why are you using a private lender and not your own money? Well, my personal IRA, I only lend out of. I don't do deals. Don't do deals I don't do deals within it. Uh, there's different schools of thought on that. Uh, if you put a, a property in an IRA, and if there were to be some lawsuit that exceeds your liability limits, mm -hmm. they could attach your IRA. So a lot of people don't, or really don't like to do that, or the people that have become knowledgeable the IRA. So I don't do that. I lend out of mine to other investors on mortgages and notes, and that's all I do. Okay. No, but why do I use uh, private lenders? They're, uh, the interest rate's a little higher than the bank. Uh, you pay a little bit more points, but you have more accessible more money. It's easier and faster. And e I can go, in fact, I did my first on another property I bought last week. Uh, not this one, but another one. I mm -hmm. actually used bank money, mm -hmm. and I'm already a little bit regretting it. Because when I looked at the numbers, even though the interest rate was lower, and all the hoops I have to jump through, the appraisal, and they still charge a point, and you have to pay a monthly payment on mm -hmm. your interest, it's really not as big of an advantage. Plus, if you don't keep your relationship up with your private lenders, they'll go to somebody else. They're going to go to someone else. And I've got several right now mm -hmm. that I'm not able to use because I haven't been able to find as many houses in the seller's market mm -hmm. that I really need to continually to use them yeah. over and over. Yeah. Cool. Did that answer your question? It does. Okay, good. So, yeah, I was just assuming the answer I thought was going to be is, you know, you have an IRA that you lend out of and other people have IRAs that they lend out of and you kind of like, you would lend on their property and they'd lend on your property. Well, Ish. most of the time the private lenders that lend to me actually are uh, uh, lending out of their IRA, mm -hmm. sometimes out of an LLC or a company. Right. But you do have to be a little careful to look if it makes sure to the IRS that it's it doesn't look like you're you pat mine back, I'm patting yours kind of thing. So it's not really a good idea from what I've studied and read to lend directly to one person when they've dealt to you. It's almost seem looks like you're swapping money. In essence, you're really not, but it could appear that you're doing that if you were audited by the IRS. That's interesting. That's a good point. So cool. Okay. All right.